Well, good evening, and welcome to the good ship Pip Pip. We're at the World Championship Croquet Tournament this year, a game that was invented in 1846 by an Englishman by the name of Mr. Spratt. And uh, the first major croquet tournament was held at Wimbledon, where we are tonight, just south of London itself. And uh, in the background, you can see uh, the centre court and the other beautiful tennis courts. Um, unfortunately, I don't believe there will be any Wimbledon tennis this year um, because there's darn coronavirus. But because you can play croquet a good six feet apart, I say pip pip to croquet. Anyway, tonight our first drink is going to be quite refreshing and it's going to consist of some lovely fresh raspberries taken from the English countryside. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get about five or six of these. Mm! five or six of these little beauties and we're going to, I think that might do it, and we're going to muddle these. We're going to crush them up and release all that lovely raspberry juice. Yes, mm. I can tell already that this is going to be a rather fabulous beverage. Anyway, so what we're going to do is add a little triple sec, which is kind of a sweetened orange liqueur. Not too much because we want to save room for the vodka and we're going to use this a goodly amount of course as always there we are never skimp on the actual main ingredient there we are and then of course ice and i hope you're all having a lovely day it's a little bit overcast here in wimbledon of course that's typical english weather what can i say Anyway, shake the chicken out of this. We're going to get all that lovely raspberry flavor in there. And then we're going to put a couple of raspberries in there. And then we're going to strain this. Oh, look at the color on that. Oh my goodness. I think this is going to be rather lovely. Mmm. Yes, let's see. Look at the color in that. You've got little bits of raspberry pit in there. Mmm. You know what? I quite like this drink. Mm. I say pip pip to this one. Mm. I'm definitely gonna have more of that later. Now the next beverage is something that I just sort of dreamed up on the spot. Now, this will be a stirred and not shaken beverage. We're going to get this lovely Amontillado, which is a medium dry sherry. And we're gonna put a little bit of that in there. And this will be equal parts. And then this really exquisite Brisca Dorado um, vermouth that my friend Anna from the La Balena restaurant gave me. And uh, it's, it's really exquisite. It's, it's got a lovely nutty flavor to it. And here, of course, one of my favorites, Bombay Sapphire Chin. So equal amounts, pretty much, of that. And we're going to stir this gently. Get all those flavors in there. We don't want to bruise the drink because as we know, if you bruise a drink, it doesn't like you very much later. So then a little bit more ice. And then we're going to just very gently stir that, just like that a little bit. Goodness. The wild ducks here at Wimbledon are pretty ferocious, I tell you. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, lovely color. Let's have a look at that. Mmm. Mmm, there's an almost smoky quality to this. You know what? I think this needs a little bit of blood orange peel, which will give it a lovely texture and flavor to it, yes. Nice big wedge of orange. We'll just squeeze that zest right on there. There we are, and do, do this. Let's see if that helps it. Mm. Oh my goodness, it does. You know, the blood orange peel has a sort of, um, almost a burnt quality to it, and it's just delicious. I say, 
I say pip pip to this. So um, if you don't mind me, I'm going to carry on with my croquet. So from Wimbledon and the good ship pip pip, pip pip. Oh, good shot.